you know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain. You know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain. You know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain. You know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain. And that's exactly what kind of brain they want us in, ladies and gentlemen. They want us in a reptilian type of thought or realm. Um, it's it's because of the way they're conditioning conditioning us through competition, through lust, through money, through fear. Because uh, your reptilian part of your brain is controls the fight or flight um, reaction. Um, so this is exactly he acts like well this is what people are mostly using. Um, well that's because uh, Mr. President, you and um, your minions are conditioning us and your corporate buddies are conditioning it, conditioning us to have this reptilian type of mindset and this is why the uh, the Bible or the scripture speaks about and why the Messiah speaks about loving your neighbor as yourself and and, and emphasizes love because love and, and loving your brother and your neighbor put you on a, a whole different vibration a whole different level and every everybody was on that mindset it would send us in a whole different vibration and what's coming what's being exposed now would be even more so being exposed and that's what they're afraid of they have to keep us in this low vibration state of mind and and they're constantly barbaric bar, uh, Bar bar bombarding us with this stuff day in and day out with the UFC and football and competition and violence and that all and the music and it all triggers something in your brain if you notice you listen to some uh, hard hard uh, metal rock or like I used to you notice it gets you pumped up and it gets you in a certain frame of mind and gets you you know it does something to you and and that's what it's doing it's connecting with your reptilian brain which is uh eat sleep have sex and fight and protect and that's and that's the kind of that's the state of mind they're trying to keep us in now you notice on that view clip he was sitting right under the v and the v is very important Oh, and one other thing real quick before I get to the V. That's another reason they're taking music and art and stuff like that out of the schools because it'll exercise your uh, right brain and your it'll, like the creative side of your brain. And uh, they don't want that. They want to keep you in their frame of mind so you can't, you stay on that lower vibration and can't see what's going on. Now notice, on he was on the view. Notice how they emphasize the V. Just like they emphasize the E in a lot of things, which, because they uh, call Saturn L. Now, I haven't really done enough research to connect the V to Saturn, but I'm sure it does connect. And I'm going to show you something in a minute, but... uh Notice how he's sitting, the V is, he's sitting right under the V. The V is very an occultic symbol. One thing the V means is, uh, it means the law of fives, with which Adam Weishaupt, uh, the, the founder, so-called founder of the Illuminati, uh, came up with. And uh, one of the laws of five is chaos, the starting point of all societies. It related in Weishaupt's mind to the goddess of cults in antiquity, especially to the worship of Lilith. Eris, Diana, or Kali. The second one is Discord, where a ruling class emerges and seizes control. Weishaupt related this period of an introduction to the worship of Marduk or Osiris. Number three of the Law of Fives is Confusion, where folk would attempt to restore a balance between the two preceding forces. He related this period to the child god uh, Loki or Horus, or to the kind of devil bureaucracy the reason is number four the result of synthesis of stage three failing a spiritual void where absolutely no deity would 
be acknowledged. People cannot abide this void and escape into fantasy, drugs, or madness. During this phase, the destruction of the middle class takes place, which is right now. And then stage uh, the law, the fifth law of fives, aftermath, where society implodes, reverts to chaos. The bureaucracy crashes under the weight of its own red tape and thinks spiral out of control. Magic and nature now rule again, which will be the Luciferian doctrine coming into play, and the cycle is preparation to begin again, hence the Scottish Rite 32 degree motto, order from chaos, or order ob chaos, okay, so that's another thing the V means, it's not the peace sign, it's not, it doesn't, it's, it, it doesn't mean peace, and when you put it up to the wall, and, and it, a shadow off of that sign is a devil with horns, okay, um, so, the V is a very occultic symbol, and they know it is, um, and it actually originated from Aleister Crowley and Winston Churchill, okay, so, uh, and, it, and there's a bunch of other things, if you do a search, uh, do some research, you can, you can find, um, the other meanings behind it, but it's also a popular TV series. And you're going to be surprised of what this TV series is about if you don't already know. Now, you, you think Obama said that on accident. He didn't say that on accident. Um, this TV series, V, is about extraterrestrials that, um, which are actually demons, um, guys. These aren't extra. It, people from other planets per se they're demons and fallen ones and um they create artificial intelligence uh people that look like us or the tares um and they claim they come to earth in the show claiming they only need a, a certain amount of earth's resources in exchange for technology and medical knowledge um then some people come in doubt of their sincerity and uh discovers that the aliens are actually reptilian humanoids wearing pseudo-human skin. And they have spent decades infiltrating human govern governments, business, and religious institutions and are now in the final stages of their plan to take over the Earth. Huh. How interesting. Okay. And this show just came out in 2009. Okay. Now listen to what uh, one of the, uh, you know, people give their... Uh, opinions on it and stuff <clears throat> you know certain people from uh, different publications and uh one one person said something very interesting uh Okay, yeah, she said that a V is the best show on television by far. The special effects feature film quality. The writing is intelligent and time relevant. And the acting is first rate. Okay. Time relevant. She says this is relevant to our times. Okay. So this show is about uh, reptilians from another planet. Okay. That are um, in human skin. So I'm telling you, they talk to us through TV shows and movies. Um, they're telling us something in these things. Okay. And now that connects directly to what. Uh, Obama alluded to. There's a big deception that's about to occur. Don't be deceived. These are demons. These are demonic entities and spirits. Now let me show you one more thing. This is something else I find very interesting. That our good buddy Alex Jones is using the same symbol. We call it V for Victory. Now he has said something about this symbol having occult meanings before, and this is how they mess with your mind. This is psychology. Since he said something about before, therefore he could never be using it for evil purposes, right? So he, here's a picture that he picked out of a contest he had, whoever could come up with the best uh, picture. Notice at the top it says, we are legion, okay? Ephesians 5, 8, or, oh, no, not Ephesians 5, 8, that was something else. I'm sorry, but uh, in Matthew, uh, okay, in Matthew, the Messiah is casting out a demon out of a guy, and he says, what's your name? And, and, the, and, the, demons, and the demon says, uh, 
I'm called Legion, for we are many. Okay, that's a little reference there for you that that's being made there. Now, this guy didn't win any contest. He was already picked to make this. You know, he likes to have these contests to get revenue and to get uh, views up and, 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 and visits to his website and so on and so forth. Alex Jones is not on your team. Neither is his buddy uh, Jesse Ventura, who was... That's a whole different story. He was wearing a jacket with, with free, uh, a symbol on the back of it uh, at a wrestling show. Um, it, he's not on your team. It's all about deception. Um, he, th th This is a, an occultic symbol, and he's throwing it right in your face, and they're testing you. This is what he... They're testing your docility, and they have a computer. The government has a computer. I forget what it's called, but it's for the the it's for the sole purpose of testing the population's docility to see how docile they are and um he's throwing this right in your face if you watch alex jones jones's face if you watch him very closely go to his videos you'll see weird things happening with the bags under his eyes and things going on with him that just aren't right he claims to be a Christian, and, um, you know, that word Christian, I'm not even down with that word anyway, you know, it could, anybody can claim to be, and plus, I, I think, I don't think Christianity is actually uh, what uh, the apostles and everybody called themselves, but anyway, here's another, and this is also one part of the, uh, the V is also one part of of a box a diamond is nothing but a, a box on a slant or a cube you notice it's a black you know black is the uh, color of Saturn um, so this this has all has to do with uh, some kind of reptilian uh, entities uh, and uh, fallen ones, you know, the, the in the in the garden, uh, Adam and Eve were tempted by a serpent. Okay, a reptile, a reptile. So uh, something, something's going on here. And Alex Jones is not on your side. I know I used to follow him too, you know, but there comes a time where you you, you can't get stuck in one space. You have to keep accepting truth. Truth isn't just getting to one spot and parking your car. Truth is an ongoing thing that we're going to have to accept and love the love for the truth. You know, I we all we all I know y'all want this guy to be your hero, but he's not. He's he's trying to stir up a revolution. Is he's part of the plan? to stir up what's going on in Egypt and everywhere else. I got news for you. Egypt is no accident. Egypt was uh, part of the plan. Egypt was um, Egypt was uh, instigated. It was the, the top executive of Google is taking credit for this. An executive, an Egyptian executive at Google. Okay. Google is connected very highly to the higher powers and principalities, okay? Um, this was orchestrated. This whole event was orchestrated, and they're trying to do the same thing over here. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of a guy named Leo Zagami, but uh, at the Forerunner, the Forerunner 777's channel, he did an interview with Leo Zagami, and the very first video in that playlist tells you this is he's a, a high grand master freemason and this was his mission to start a revolution and this is what they're trying to do okay here's an old old picture of a guy and I'm sure you know he wasn't saying peace when he was holding up the sign no actually another uh, <clears throat> Uh, meaning for this uh, V sign is uh, the all-powerful energy which subterranean Nordics harnessed was referred to as Viril, V-R-I-L, the V or Tricona, the source of the Kundalini serpent energy. You know, 
and what's funny is uh not to get off track here but these people in these churches claiming to be uh have the holy spirit and and uh having seizures and everything else that's the, if you go watch uh some uh youtube uh videos of uh kundalini uh rituals they do the same exact thing um in 19 in 1871 lord edward bulwer lighton a member of english parliament at rosicrucian published a book entitled the coming race which was rife with hidden occult meaning the coming race referred to a matriarchal Nordic subterranean race known as the Vril Ya. The Vril Ya are advanced rates of seven foot tall Nordic beings that have harnessed an energy source known as Vril and with it have subdued other subterranean beings in order to survive, including reptilians. Indeed, the first creature the main character, surface dweller, encounters a man eating reptilian being who carries off his friend. And then, uh, so this guy wrote this book in 1871. Okay, and um, eventually uh, they discover, just like in the show V, that the Nordic actually intends to invade and conquer the surface of the planet. And remember that reptilians have long utilized the image of Nordics as frontmen in their operations. Okay, so this is what Obama was alluding to in the very first clip I put up, and this is what is going on. They tell us what's happening. We just are on two, a lot of, a lot of us at one time, and some of us still are on too low of a level to see it, or 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 recognize what's going on. Um, that's what's called waking up. You know, it starts in your heart. It starts with having a good heart, and um, and it goes from there. So, sorry I made this thing so long. I don't know. It seems like it goes by faster than it should, but um, this time limit, this 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 time goes by so fast when I'm doing this. So I'm trying to talk as fast as I can, but I'll I'll leave it there for now, and I'll maybe do another video a little later on some more Saturn symbols that I've seen around, and uh, show you those so you can get accustomed to looking for it. Um, so that's what the V is all about. It's not the Alex Jones V for victory. It has has nothing to do with that it's not um <clears throat> peace it's n it's none of that it's very occultic and using it even there's power behind even using these symbols which i'll, I'll go into later but um that'll be it for now uh um be blessed and um be aware